Okay, we're going to do a update and feeding of my Fonofelmas and then a few other feeds. Um, this is my Fonofelma uh, Chapala. Yeah. And um, then I've got Marxi, a Fonofelma Marxi, which ate. Um, and then I've got a Fonofelma uh, Oaxaca, who is just molted. So I'll just show you that one and then. Yeah, because I'm kind of redoing this video because this one didn't eat, so hopefully it will. If not, I'll just um, do the vid anyway, because, uh, yeah. Well, because it's just a bit of a pain in the arse. You do something and then it kind of, you have to hold it off just for one tea, doesn't it? Um, uh, you can see that, yeah. Should have this. Uh, of course it doesn't. Yeah. Thank you, sausage. Well, I think that is that. Oh, quick, it's moving. No. Anyway, so this is just an update, and let's go on to um, the Oaxaca. Just a quick update. This is recently molted a Fonofelma Oaxaca, and believe it or not, this is two years old. Um, I think the show was the Seas, which is coming up next... I think it's January or February the show is, but um, it's quite a good show. I um, can't remember exactly where it is, but it's um, somewhere in Kent, is it? Or, But anyway, so yeah, this is um, Oaxaca from a region in Mexico. Um, they're very slow growing, and well, these sort of Chapala and Oaxaca seem to be sort of small, very small. I mean, most of the film is, um don't grow too big. I think there's a, like a the film Simani grows fairly large and Chow Cody's is around six inches or so so some of them aren't you know they're not they're not all small basically but uh, I think they're all pretty much slow growing so let's go on to the Marxi. Right, this is my Fonofelma Marxi that you haven't seen in ages it's raising its little bum in the air it does it as a fret posture um, where are you going you come back oh yeah. Very cute. Again, about two years old. Um, taking a very long time to grow. Um, the abdomen's looking all right, although it's molted recently. Um, should have a mealworm. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, you got to see Fonofelma uh, Marxi and Afonofelma Chapala and uh, yeah the Oaxaca hopefully will molt soon and then I'm going to rehouse it I'm fed up of the enclosure sin at the moment it keeps trashing it and so um yeah thanks for watching just a little uh, feeding vid and I'm working on bringing you some other clips of a mixed bag so uh, expect that in a few days cheers oh I forgot to put the anyway I'm wishing on <laughs> sorry yeah Right, Squitchy, Squitchlet here was uh, going for the water. This is my ever feeding Grandma Stola Polka, who doesn't want to molt, and uh, it's about three years old, or yeah, or four even. I've got it at uh, the first BTS I went to, so um. Right at the start of the hobby, I thought I've got to get myself a G Polkra, and here he or she is. What do you want this, sweetheart? Oh, typical. She's going for the water, or he, and didn't want the worm. Yeah, silly sausage. Got to be the most chilled of all tarantulas. But just very, very slow growing. I don't know why I'm flapping at the water and then doesn't want the worm. Can you fit any more worms in there?
Hmm. This could take some time. It's thinking about it. Unless that's saying no, I don't want it. No. So just an update on my Polkra. On to the next. Going to show you hopefully both my Lassiodora difficilises. This one is the smaller of the two. Um, I've just done a cricket for the uh, Chapala and it didn't eat. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, we saved it. Hmm. Aha. Somebody isn't in pre molt. So what we'll do is we'll stick two here. One that's wiggling. Or not wiggling anymore. Uh, you coming out, sausage? Typical though. Well, these mealworms have gone a bit on the large side. So let's. Oh, it's wiggling. Hmm. Me? What are you doing? Oh, there's one. Um, will it get the second one? That's the question. Probably going to take it out just to be on the safe side. Or not. Well, there's the answer to that. And we've got a quite a nice view, so this is one's worked out perfectly. Now let's go on to her sister or brother, or his sister or brother. As you can see, this one's a lot bigger. Really has um, been eating well. Um, I've left the roaches downstairs silly boy but we can give her a super one or him i've got plenty of supers so um right which is the best way to feed this one um problem is the location is all right let's just do that yeah pretty cool Great eater, this one. I mean, the Lassiodoras have just generally been, you know, really easy going. They're a bit fast, and obviously when they're bigger, they you know, you don't want to get your hands too near them. And, you know, they're a bit like uh, Formictopus. They're, you know, very, very, you know, aggressive kind of eaters and can go defensive. But, the, but generally, you know, they're really cool. Coloration isn't as great as some, but um, I really like them so far, so... Let's go on to the Kluge. Actually, I think this might be the Kluge. I mean, this might be the Difficilis, and then the other one was the Kluge. Um, can't, yeah, I've probably got a bit confused, but um, they look quite similar. That's the problem. I think this is actually a Difficilis. Um, unless I was sold three Difficilis, but no, uh, the one is definitely a Kluge, I think. But um, when they get bigger, I'll. You know, I know for sure because coloration is quite different, although similar. Because obviously, Lassiodora is a there's not too much variation in them. Are you gonna yeah. Definitely like their mealworms. Um, judging by the abdomen, I think this one's okay for just one. You could sort of feed them up a bit more and bung in some bung in too, but um, I think one a week, one every four days is fine. All right, let's go on to um, some more, hopefully. This is my other G poker paste that you haven't seen in a while. Um, and it's molted a couple of weeks ago. Should have a worm. Excellent stuff. It's one malt behind the... Uh, 
other one I've got, which uh, I think has gone into Primo. Oh, it's done. Hey, double whammy, that's good. Great stuff. On to the next. I thought I'd do a little special one here. This is Big Bad Mama. And I don't know whether she's gravid, but um, her abdomen's looking nice and big. Uh, she hasn't sealed herself in. And I'm going to... Ooh. She's hungry. Nice. Hopefully you can make out. There she goes. Just having a good old feed. So they're absolutely gorgeous, OBTs, really. I mean, yes, they are fast, but as you can see now, she's there's not much distance there. She can climb out pretty easily, but you kind of, uh, after a while, well, I guess because she's been fed and she's been kind of bred, so he's not really going to leave her um, nest or her lair, as it were. So, um, fingers crossed. But um, if not, then I'll try and perhaps get a mature male again. Oh, well, yeah. I don't know whether it's probably worth it. But uh, anyways, she's looking great. Um, on to the next. Oh, this is one you haven't seen for a while. This is my Femictopus Hispaniola. And... Let's see if it wants a worm. That's a yes. So they're very dark in coloration at the moment. Um, not quite sure what they uh, look like when they're bigger. I haven't seen too many of them are online, but um, they're pretty cool. And um, this is a nice way to finish. There you go, sweetheart. Nom noms. Two's enough for you. Um, my other Femictopus is uh, the Cancerides. And actually, the Cancerides just ate, and I was trying to finish up um, you know, this, this vid on updating you on my Fonofelmas and stuff and feeds. Um, and it ate, and then I forgot to press record. So luckily, this um, chapel lady has uh, provided me with me... Um, my outro as it were because I keep forgetting to to do one and then I realize I've got to do a bit to sort of say goodbye to you all so uh goodbye and happy father's day to um anyone in the UK so uh thanks for watching oops stop